You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. Or, you could just call this a Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> You think Alutrion is hard as fuck? You fail the quest every single time because the Frenchman hunt rank 9 and 9 cards 4 times? Well what would you say if I told you you could kill Alutrion with just 3 hits? Sounds bullshit man. No actually, it works. And here's how we did it. But hang on, since I will try to explain you guys the whole process this time, it is going to be a lot of information, especially if you never watched any of our How Few Hits videos before. So I was at 242 visible attack at this point. I jumped down to set up my Hunter Arts, Lion's Maw 3 and Brimstone Slash for the first charge. But how am I supposed to set up my Hunter Arts if I'm not able to attack you may ask? Well, simply by getting hit and healed up over and over again. I was using a Hunter Strength, Potions, Mega Potions and Max Potions to fill up Lion's Maw and Brimstone. I will have some time later to show you guys our sets and what skills we used. So about the items, everyone brought a shit ton of items, such as Farcasters, Bomb Casings, Toadstools, Wyvern Claws, Bone Husks, Sleepy Fish, Hunter Strength, Bitter Bucks, Mega Potions, Excited Shrooms, Honey, Might Pills, Life Powders, Flash Bucks, Max Potions, Nullberry, Sleep Ammo, Mega Nutrients, Wyvern Fangs, Ancient Potions, Large Barrel Bombs Plus, Books of Combos, Mega Demon Drugs, Life Crystals, Potions, Flash Bombs. Man, a lot of items. So here's where I died the first time. No, no, it's good that I died. I have to die twice, actually. I'm using the skill Fortify, which increases my attack by 10% each time I die. Marie ate feline insurance, allowing us to die one more time. That's why the first card doesn't count for the quest. Basically the noob skill for noobs like us, perfect match. Unfortunately, it just works for two deaths, and we were trying to die three times, but it just increased two times. I made sure to be on 150 life again and jump down. So there's still one card and brimstone missing to get ready for the first hit. And by the way, I'm really sorry for letting you wait so long for this video. It took us several weeks to figure out how few hits a Latreon takes. And uh, we had the whole video recorded and I started to edit when we noticed a huge mistake in our calculation since there were wrong figures and values all over the place on the internet. And that's why we had to overthink the whole run and start from scratch with different sets and so on. So this video was probably the most time consuming video I've ever made along with the mad last year. And I've been quite busy with my new job these past few weeks. Now I'm having vacation for a few days and I'm going full in editing this video. There's where I died the second time. Brimstone still not completely filled up. Marie gave me the max potion and I healed up. Time to jump down again and fill up the remaining 30% of Brimstone. Marie supported me with life powder at this point to speed up the process of activating brimstone and to make sure I don't cart. Because if you purposely get hit multiple times, your hunter might get confused, which gets you easily killed. Alright, brimstone is full. Time for Farcaster. We were 10 minutes deep at this point and Alatrion still had 100% life. But we can check two things now. Fortify and both Hunter Arts are set up. Now on to the next part. Activating my kitchen skill, Feline Hero, which boosts our attack by 35% when our life is below 10%. High grade earplugs and negate heat and lava are active. Time to take Demon Drug for the extra plus 7 raw damage and activate Lion's Maw for the 33% damage multiplier. Our visible attack is at 521 now. While the Hunting Horn players prepare their notes for the damage buffs, I'm taking a cold drink and one Mega Dash Juice and I combine one Farcaster. 
Now was the time to give me all the items I needed to refill my stock. Let's jump down to land our very first hit. We also use flash bombs. They work when our Trion is on rage, which you can see when there are no particle effects around his head. That's where Popo puts Alatrian to sleep the first time. Marie and Horo activate both horn buffs now. The 20% attack one and the 20% affinity, plus 2 times small recovery. You see, the affinity buff also increases my life. And now we don't have Heroix activated no more. Damn, Team Darkseid must be stupid, right? And now he's taking a potion. Well, actually guys, here comes the tricky part. Let me explain you why I healed up and also why my set has exactly 355 defense. Well before we did all this we were trying to figure out how much damage a large barrel bomb plus does to me. Why a large barrel bomb plus you may ask? Well my attack while using brimstone slash level 3 can be increased up to 50% depending on how high the damage is I receive during the brimstone animation. So for example when a monster hits you, your brimstone damage will increase. In this case, our Trion is taking a nap, so we can do nothing but use bombs to increase our damage. So two large barrel bombs plus combined with Bombardier happen to deal exactly the amount of damage we need to get the 50% attack buff. As you can see here, Marie put the two bombs next to me, just where the bombs are out of our Trion's range but hit me. Why the defense? With 355 space defense, I reach exactly 461 defense when I'm below 40% life. With this exact amount of defense, two large barrel bombs plus deal just as much damage as a normal potion plus the affinity life buff fill up my life bar together. Here comes the my pill, which is the last item I take, because it only lasts for 20 seconds. Notice we're at 511 attack, no heroics, no bomb buff and no resentment active yet. Let's wait for the next hit before we go into damage calculation since I want to cover the sets and skills first. The second part goes fast since I get a little support from my team this time. Horror is the second one who helps me trying to get down to hero again by using life powders. Lots of life powders. Since this part basically works like part 1, I will have some time to explain you guys what skills we picked and why we chose those sets. Our setup was totally different from what we used to have in our How Few Hits videos. Marie served as the hunting horn player and had a lot to do. His main job was to keep the horn buffs active. He used the Tigrix horn which is so good, especially for this particular quest. It has high grade earplugs, which protects us from Elotirian screams, attack up large, which boosts my attack by 20%, and immunity to heat and lava. So in case my cold drink expires, I won't lose any HP, which is quite useful since I'm below 10% life a lot. Also, you may have noticed that you lose some life when your hunter stands near lava. We're also protected from that now. His major skills were Bombardier and Horn Maestro, which increases the horn buffs by 30 seconds, making it last 2 minutes. He also ate Feline Pyro for large barrel bombs plus. Popo was the status gunner. He was putting Alatrian to sleep 3 times. But why didn't he use the light bow gun with sleep rapid fire? Well, there's a small twist to it this time. We also needed somebody with a demon affinity compatible gun this time. That's why he took Mythical 3 Evils, which can shoot sleep and demon affinity. And that's really exciting, since we've never worked with this ammo before. According to G Hunter, Demon Affinity adds 1.1 damage to your sharpness multiplier, which is huge. Popo was using Adept Light Bowgun to be able to easily dodge attacks with just two skills. Load Up, which increases the number of shots per magazine by one, and Recall plus three in order to basically fire the sleep with minimum recall possible. Of course, what you gotta do as a status gunner for such a run, eat feline specialist. Horo used Horn as well, his job was to play the affinity and life buff in order to increase the chance to get a crit since the Tigrex Greatsword has negative base affinity. I had to die two times in order to activate Fortify, so he ate for feline insurance. So just in case anything goes wrong, we would have one additional free card. His set came with just two skills, Speed Eating plus two and Horn Maestro. 
Speed eating helped for security while I was recharging my hunter arcs, since Horror was able to use life powder faster. I was using the Tigrix Greatsword in this final attempt, which has 220 base raw and comes with white sharpness, which is pretty good since handicraft skill points usually require some sacrifices. I used 4 skills. Weakness Exploit to get 50% more affinity on weak points, Critical Boost to deal more damage with critical hits, Fortify to get 20% more attack after 2 cards, and Resentment, which increases my attack by 20 when my HP bar is red, just as much as attack up large increases your attack. The most important thing here was to eat 4 Feline Heroics, which increases my attack by 35% when I'm below 10% life. I was using Striker Style, which not only allowed me to bring 3 Hunter Arts, but also allowed me to overcharge without losing damage. But more of that later. So here's the second Brimstone, and we have 999 attack again. Let's pause here now, and I can explain you the calculation, so you will understand why it exactly hit 999, and how much damage we actually deal. For now, we will split up the entire damage we deal in two parts. First the visible attack part. Alright, so our greatsword has 220 attack, demon drug plus 7, power charm plus 6, power talon plus 9, might pill plus 25, resentment plus 20, hunting horn buff 1.2, fortify 1.2, line small 1.33, feline hero 1.35, large bear bump plus 1.5. All of those values together would be rounded down exactly 1113 invisible attack. By the way guys, in Monster Hunter you always round down if you calculate damage. Now we want to add the multipliers which are hidden, but affect the damage you deal. First off, two of the figures which you will find on the internet have proven to be wrong. We were calculating for days and because of Kira Nico's help we were able to find out the exact head weakness for cutting weapons which is 0.52, instead of the 0.6 figure, which is shown by various sources on the internet, which, by the way, have most of their values copied from another source. So that's pretty much why there are so many inaccurate figures regarding Monster Hunter's damage calculation. The second value we were able to find out was the motion value for Brimstone, which is not 1.9, it's 2.39, which is much higher, but if you think about it, 1.9 would be way too low for this move, which takes you almost more time to activate than the actual quest itself takes sometimes. Especially if you compare it to the normal level 3 charge, which has a 1.3 motion value and comes pretty close to 1.9. With that out of the way, let's add the hidden multipliers. Weak point, 0.52. Critical boost, 1.4. Sharpness multiplier, 1.42. And that's the 1.32 Y sharpness multiplier, plus the additional 1.1 Demon Affinity multiplier, which adds to the Sharpness multiplier. Sleep multiplier, 2.0, and the Brimstone slash level 3 motion value, 2.39. This gets us to exactly 5,500 damage, and that multiplied by 2 would be 11,000. And Eladrian has 10,320 HP, so why does the video say 3 hits? Because 2 hits should have been enough. Well, the answer is as simple as getting knocked out of the way from a Plazyot's hip check. Monster Hunter Generations fails its own damage system. All the attack over 999 will be cut off completely. These 1113 visible attack we calculated before aren't even the max figure possible in this game, since we use skills like Weakness Exploit. Or we could have used the Warren Greatsword, which comes with 270 base attack. Then we would have had more than 1300 attack, which could have been achieved legitimately by just playing the goddamn game. But no, we would lose more than 300 attack. Hell, that's even more than Frenchman Hunter 99 ever had. I mean, I love Capcom for what they did, for creating this awesome series called Monster Hunter. But sometimes, especially these last few years, I simply don't understand some of their choices. So please, if you do that, would you just take a moment or consider all the stuff you put in this game and see if this works with the 999 cap, really? With 999 instead of 1113 attack, gets us to exactly 4931 damage. And that's the exact damage we deal with one hit, considering it was a critical hit. So 4931 multiplied by 2 are 9872. 
which is not as much as Alutrion has HP. So we need another charge now. The third part won't take long, since we don't need Brimstone and Lion's Maw anymore. Alright, get back to the camp and reactivate Hero. Onto the preparations to fire the final slash. Since there would have been at least 10 people in the comments complaining But Chris, you forgot about the Blade 1.05 multiplier. Let me answer this. There is no verified information about the multiplier depending on which part of your sword hits the monster. Also, none of the hits here touched him with just a peak, so in any way, there shouldn't have been any negative multipliers from it. Just a possible 1.05 multiplier. But since we can't confirm that, we didn't include that in the calculation. Because I don't want to spread wrong figures. So even if somebody died here, we would still not fail the quest because of feline insurance. I think this will be the only time we ever use this skill. As you can see, it took a lot longer to put Elotrian to sleep this time, since his limits are relatively high at this point after two sleeps. So he's asleep now. Hunting Horn buffs incoming. The Demon Affinity buff incoming. And here's the final slash to victory. Let me pause here again really quick, because this calculation is slightly different from the Brimstone one, and there is a huge difference in terms of damage. So what we basically do is take the calculation from before and swap a few values. First we delete the resentment plus 20. Then we want to delete the Lion's Maw buff, as well as the Large Bear Bomb plus buff. The last value we have to change is the Motion value, since we use another move now, right? So let's change the Brimstone multiplier to the level 3 charge, which has a 1.3 multiplier. So the calculation would work like this. 220 plus 15 plus 7 plus 25 is 267 base attack multiplied by 1.2 multiplied by 1.2 multiplied by 1.35. And that's 519 attack as you can see here. Now if we add the hidden multipliers, we add 0 0.52, 1.4, 1.42, 2.0 and 1.3. And that brings us to 1394 damage. Now, we've calculated all the hits in this video. If we combine the damage from all three hits, we get this. 2 times 4931 plus 1394 adds up to exactly 11,256 damage on 10,320 HP. So there it is, Elotrion gets down like a champ. We wouldn't even have needed Hero, the Horn buff and Mind Pill for the last hit. Which leads us to the final conclusion then. I personally think it sucks that the max attack in this game is 999, but hey guys, I mean, 3 hits? That's still quite impressive, right? And you don't need much skill to pull this off, just some good teamwork. Man, I can already see the comments. You hackers, cheaters, noobs, I hope Capcom finds you. And we knew right from the beginning when Monster Hunter Generations got announced that we can pull off some crazy shit with those Hunter Arts. All in all, this video was an insane amount of work, from planning the run changing the strategies over and over again until we finally achieved these results. I mean, we needed 8 hits the first time, then we tried it again, needed 7 hits. When we found out the strategy for 6 hits, so after the third attempt, it all changed. We found out the right values about the Brimstone motion value and Elytrian's weakness. Also, we used 2 bombs for max damage this time. We used the Nagrakuga Greatsword and needed 3 Brimstone Slash to kill Elytrian. That was a huge step forward. But then we realized, hold on, what if we take the Tigrix Greatsword instead? So we worked on the final strategy, and according to our calculation, we would need just two hits to pull this off. It was crazy. So we tried it again after everything was recorded and half the video was edited. We took the Tigrix Greatsword with just 65% affinity this time. We had to hope to get lucky with all the critical hits, and then the worst case proved to be true. The 999 cap which would prevent anyone from killing a Latreon with two hits, ever. This video was certainly our most expensive video ever. At some point, I was completely lost due to the sheer endless amount of information I had to put in this video. Anyway guys, I'm happy it's all done, so be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and comment down below what you want us to try next. Also guys, I really want to shout out Kiraniko, who helped me with this calculation by providing some hidden in-game data. Wouldn't have been possible without him. I've got his Twitter linked down below, make sure to follow him there, he posts some crazy shit on Twitter. 
Alright guys, I hope you all liked it. My name is Chris, I'm from Team Darkseid, and until then, I catch you guys on the next video. Oh, and by the way, happy hunting. Das könnte ich jetzt fast in den Outtakes noch reintun, oder? <laughs>